What up, it's your boy Davion Flickstar BMF Review. Meech switching lanes, trying to see his brother who just got shot. His brother looks all kinds of messed up right now, man. You know, this episode, it kicked things up a little a little bit, man. It kicked it up a notch, man. Um, the acting, especially on Lil Meech's behalf, was um, incredible. It was nothing short of uh, great. He he delivered. I mean, we really get to see him like in his in his bag with this one. But let's go on with the review, man. Quick review, man. Nothing too long, nothing too short, man. You know. So you know. So, Meech, he's a, he's all out. He's like he want. He's like on a whole all out war war path at this point. You know. He rose up on your boy Kwame, the one that was messing with messing with Terry, talking trash to Terry and whatnot. Yo, he beat the brakes out of dude. Like he like he assaulted dude. Like it's getting beat up and then there's just straight up assault. He assaulted dude. Oh, by the way, just got a new phone. So if you think, whoa, whoa, wow, look at your camera, it looks cool. Yeah, that's the iPhone 13, man. That's why it looks a little cinematic. I got it in cinematic mode, man. So, anyway, beats the crap out of Kwame. I'm talking about just brute, brute force. But, of course, uh, it's not obvious. It's not really evident that Kwame had anything to do with it. I mean, you've seen the poor boy. The poor, I said poor. The poor boy pleading and begging for his life, you know. Oh, it was just school stuff. I mean, sorry, y'all. Man, I don't have a haircut right now. And I'm trying to get this hoodie to, like, hug my you know anyway so you know meech is all out he 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 wants answers he's not playing with nobody did you see how he came up in the hospital with a whole mac 11 came in through came in there with a whole mac 11 scaring everybody scaring all the white folks man and the cop i forgot his name but you know he always comes through i have a feeling that i'm going to be liking him a lot so let's get let's go down our notes meech beats up kwame assaults him finds up it wasn't him Knocks him out for for good luck. You know, he wasn't really for good luck, but, you know, he'd be all right, you know. There you go. All right. So, you get your boy. Lamar wants to get back into the game. He gets, he wants, he wants back. He see all the corners. He see all the young boys. He wants back in. He don't care about none of that. He's going to do whatever he has to do. Whatever he has to do to get back into the game and get all of his corners back because, you know, he was once the man out here in these streets. So, you know, he rolls up on J-Mo. Um, what's his name? I'm sorry. Let's go through our notes. Let's go through our notes. I write my notes down so I won't remember anything. Let's go right through our notes. Flamil. Him and Flamil, they start talking business. However, Lamar... Has a has a has a has a devious plan to get back into the game. So I'm guessing he's going to probably try to infiltrate. So you know, Lamar has been away for two years. A lots have changed within those two years. I mean, typical thing. Old head goes away. All the young cats come and take over. Old head's better. He wants what he, what was once his. You know, it happens with everything from street stuff, music, entertainment, every single thing, man. So. B. Mickey and Kato, they're ordered to move the product from the, from the stash house. Things are starting to get hot. So, you know, B. Mickey, he wasn't really on the job, you know, wasn't on the job. Half-assed checked the warehouse. A crackhead comes and attacked him. Now, Kato, with her tough ass, was able to get it, was able to lay the crackhead down. But however... They broke the they broke the product. The product spilled, so now they got a big problem. Big problem, problem after problem after problem for Meech. Like I said, this episode, man, it was um, nothing short of good. Um, kicked it up a notch, a whole another level. I mean, normally when when there's a series um, premiere, the first episode is good, then the second episode comes and you be like, um, I don't know, but. It's staying true. It's sticking to the to the to the right vibes. So I'm liking it so far. So now, let's go to the Lamar. 
Lamar goes to Zoe's school. Now, mind you, what's messed up is, well, I don't get, well, I get it. Lamar, Zoe is not Lamar's daughter. But for some reason, he has like this whole, um, um, what's that? How do you say grandeur? Whatever it is. He has like this, uh, this, this delusion that this is his daughter or that he doesn't even care that he wants to be in Monique's life. He misses Monique. His daughter is not even, I mean, his, his so-called daughter, what he says in his words, and according to him, his daughter isn't even supposed to be, be talking to him. He's not even, she's not even supposed to communicate with him. But, you know, he has this way of coming, and he ain't going to go nowhere. He wants to be in the picture. He's never going to stop coming to Monique. He wants back in. I mean, you see what he was willing to do to Lil Meeks, you know, told told that little nigga to stay away from his stay away so and you know and you have tender penis guy tender penis guys like that who do that in the hood every day i mean you i mean i've experienced them i know some other dudes have experienced them a lot of women have experienced them i mean they just they just a lost cause i mean they don't they don't get the hint so he gets into it, makes a scene, embarrasses the girl, gets kicked out the property. So now we go back to the other scene. Go back to the stash house. Meech is on one. He is vexed right now. He is vexed about the product. He's mad. He's taking his anger out on, on, on Zato, on B. Mickey. He even starts taking it out on the crackhead now. Luckily, the crackhead didn't get beat down. Like, I mean, Meech have been given have been given out free ass whoopings this whole episode. I'm telling you, he was really on one. He wasn't having none of that. You shot his little brother. He could have almost died. Are you serious? You you damn right. He's gonna turn up. Now, now there was one thing I was um I was a bit afraid of during the episode. So we see him going through this rampage. You know, he wants to get revenge on his brother. I was wondering, or it, was we going to see him catch a body? And if he was going to catch a body, was that going to was that gonna be for entertainment purposes? Or was it something that actually happened? I mean, you see in the dissertation in the beginning of the, the, the episodes, it says um, some of this stuff may have been made up, but who knows? Some of this shit may be real. So who knows? I It's not my job to be so gong-ho and differentiate every single thing i'm just here to watch the shows the biography i think it's dope anyway so moving on let's go on more down our notes lamar lamar been in the pen two years and his standards have already shot down low he i mean since he can't get monique he gonna get it how he live he gonna get whatever said whatever yes is open Mean, <laughs> meaning my man was clapping some fat chick's cheeks right on the bathroom floor. Like, what kind of dirty shit is that? That is wild. That is super wild. I mean, he's just going in. And it sounded real. It sounded like he was actually doing all you hear. <laughs> yo, yo, my man wasn't playing no games, man. Playing no games. And every in front, like everyone can hear it. Everyone who's eating them, eating their food, everyone can hear the whole thing. So, low class, disgusting. <laughs> but I can't. I mean, I don't expect anything less than um less from the, um, Lamar. You know, he's a crazy dude. Dude's tap. So after he get done, you know, busting her cheeks, he goes to sit down with um Slick. And, you know, Slick is giving him a little bit of game. You know, tell him to like. Be more soft spoken to Monique, you know, be more smooth. All that aggressive shit may have may work with other females, but it may it might not work with her. Well, it's not gonna work with her. I mean, it's not getting him anywhere. So surprisingly, humbly enough, he takes his advice. So we're gonna see how that works down the line. I mean, I highly doubt it's not gonna work for him. I don't think he's gonna get her back anyway. So moving on. Let's go also. So Terry tries to get up, walk it off. I guess let me move this back some. There we go. Sorry, I got a little bitch on my neck. 
Terry tries to walk it off. Tries to walk it off. Um, you know, try goes tries to go against the doctor's orders. However, there's an infection in his injury in his eye. And so it causes him to collapse on the hospital floor. It's an intense scene. Um, we don't know if Terry's going to lose his vision or not. We don't know. We'll know towards the end of the episode. But it's just it's just crazy. So I don't have much to say about that. I mean, other than that's crazy. It's unfortunate what happened. So moving on. The one that tells Meech about Terry's infection. His father, Charles, his father is pissed. He is livid right now. His mama trying to hold him back. And you can see him because you, you can see how he was trying to hold him back. It's like, you can tell Lamar, I mean, not Lamar, Charles wanted to swing on me, I mean, because he's had it up to hair with him in this drug business. He thinks he thinks me is the reason why Terry got popped. He doesn't even know that Terry is a drug dealer himself. So this come this brings up a lot of speculations, a lot of assumptions. Um Meech ain't got time to be sitting in the hospital. He's on go mode. So his mother is asking him what's going on. He's very short with them. Goes out and takes a phone call. Finds out that his sister, Nicole, is at, what, I, for, I forgot, um, E something? Emers? Let's see. Let's go through our notes. Let's go. E course. So, you know, goes and pick her up. Dashes out again. His parents don't understand that, but it's understandable when you're a street guy. You I mean, you're on the moves. You got to do what you got to do. So, moving on, B. Mickey tells Meech that he needs to do something about Terry's shooter. I mean, being that the fact that Lamar gave false information to get someone else killed to start a war so just so he can go back and take back his territory. I mean, this dude is foul. This dude is foul. So, Meech is telling him about why his emotion and why how he's so hot-headed and, and trigger-happy is gonna get everybody else in a, in a big jam. Tells him about himself. He goes back and forth. Be Mickey talking about, if it was my brother, it was a good thing it's not your brother, says Big Meech. Meech, whatever he is. I mean, he's not Big Meech yet, but whatever. So, gets back in his car. Like I said, Meech isn't having no games. He was setting everybody asses straight in this episode. He didn't want to hear no bull. He didn't have time for none, of, for none of the bull. He didn't have time for none of the games. None of that. Any any one mess up, one screw up, he was rashing. He was just letting everybody have it. But that's what happens when your brother, when something like that hits home. So, let's go down our notes again. So what do we have here? So, Meech on a driving, you know, his sister gets his sister from E-Course. She's mad, like they have an intense argument. And I thought the scene was well acted. I thought the scene was pretty well put together. I mean, seeing that their chemistry, and how, how they um, go along with each other, how they talk to each other. I enjoyed their chemistry. The acting, the scene itself, his <laughs> shorty really tried to jump out the car. Like, what was she doing? I don't know what she was trying to do. It was like she was she was willing to die than be in the car with Meech. And I mean, what was the point? So you know, they pull her over. Meech gets out, talks to her, calms her down, gives her the money for the field trip. She goes on. So now for the final act. You know, you know, Ray Ray, let's go down our nose. No, that's after. So fast forward to Meech. By the way, I mean, these are all my notes. I like to take all my notes. So that way I won't be missing anything. Everything's here on my old phone right here. So I know it may not seem the most professional, but this is how I do it. Meech, B. Mickey, and the cop dude from <laughs> from Diary of a Mad Black Woman, they get J-Mo. Meech, once again, giving out ass whoopers. Bow, boom, boom, boom. 
you know, just beating on him. Has my gunpoint. Looks like he's about to do him executioner style. Dude's all bleeding out. He all crying. B. Mickey ain't got no time for that. B. Mickey says, "Yo, listen. He crying like a like a little like a little female dog, man. Put him out his misery. Cut his water out." <laughs> Meech is refusing. B. Mickey you know, ain't got time for that. Cuts his lights out. Knock him. Bang. Meech is pissed. What you do that for? You know you just got me into something. Kato, I mean, listen, man. B. Mickey, I feel like B. Mickey's going to be be the reason Meech gets into a lot. Gets into a lot of stuff in these streets. He's going to have, have a lot of rivalries, a lot of beef because of B. Mickey. Having a B. Mickey in your crew is not good. That ain't, that's, that's good. You're going to get your whole crew not People are gonna die because of dudes like B. Mickey. So again, we are gonna see what's gonna happen in the next episode. So, flash forward. Lamar gives Ray Ray, if you know what I'm talking about, another snowfall. Remember my favorite TV show on BMF. Ray Ray, well, for Mill gets the ass whooping of his life i'm talking about oh my god it was brutal i mean he held his own but it wasn't good enough he almost got flatlined almost got switch his switch almost got turned off he got, he just flipped he almost got the switch flipped and to be honest with you i don't even know if he's still alive i mean he barely looked like he was breathing breathing so lamar put that work on i'm talking about choked him out beat him with objects and then threw him in the dumpster throw him in the dumpster like come on i mean like lamar yo y'all gotta watch out for lamar so we close out the episode um lamar talks to Mo monique um she tells him that that uh his daughter's not his. And, you know, he tries to smooth talk his way back into things, you know. He's trying to get back into her good good side, her good graces. Um, the final act of the episode, you hear Monique telling Zoe to pray for Lamar, you know. So I'm guessing he probably has maybe the tip of his toe back in, in the door with Monique, but I highly doubt it, but we shall see. And then we get... Mrs. Meech, I call her Mrs. Meech, the mother praying for his son. And, you know, it seems like, I mean, obviously Meech has his mind made up that he's not leaving the streets and then that he's just going to have to just leave the house. So with that being said, she's disappointed. I think she finally come to terms that this is what it is and that he has to make his own decisions. His father, his father been wanting this to happen. He been wanting him out the house. And now that with Terry getting shot, it really turned it really turned things for the worse. So now it's essential that he gets out the house. And at this point, he's he doesn't care. He has to do what he has to do. So he thinks. So he tells his mom to continue to pray for him. They leave. That's the episode. I mean, obviously not the first final act of the episode, but it's the conclusion. It's one of the conclusions. So overall, I, I gave this episode a 9.5 out of 10. Great episode. Good pacing. Um, good writing. Um, everything is going to seem like it's going to be open for everything. Is Everything that's happening now is going to open up to more crazier things happening within the season. So I definitely look forward to it. I look forward to the storyline reaching this reaching the story arc. I look forward to the character development of all the characters, who's gonna be likable characters, who's not, who we're gonna hate, who we're gonna wish to die. I mean, I feel like it's going in in a good direction. The authenticity is so it's just on point. The um the the cinematography is on point, the color grade it makes it gives it that real gritty look. So I definitely rocks with it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Um, that's my quick review. Well, even though it's 20 minutes, but it's, the, I mean, I, I did my best to make it quick. I mean, sorry. Not sorry. I had a lot to say. I had to go through everything. But 
that's my review, man. Y'all let me know what I missed in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought in the episode. And y'all be easy out there, man. Good night.